Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham here, and check out the new model I designed. This is a pair of pants, but it's actually also a box. You can pull the legs out, and you can see there's their boxes. You can put something inside there, like that, and it just fits in like that. There's the other one, there's a space inside to put things. And yeah, so it's, my, it's like a double compartment box. See? This one isn't perfect, so it's a little hard to close. But I'm sure today's one we'll be making will work a lot better. But there's our little pair of pants. So for this, we're going to need three squares of paper. All the same size, three squares, sheets of paper. And this one here, the six inch square of dual paper, because it's, it's like a lighter turquoise and this is darker. And we'll say the lighter turquoise is the white side, and this will be our colored side. So we want to start, we're going to start with making the lid of our box, which is this part at the top with the two sections, you know, this piece up here. It's the trickiest part, so we gotta make sure we fold it the right way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it into fifths, just one direction, so I'm gonna fold my paper in half. And I just lightly diagonally fold it. Unfold, I'm gonna bring this to edge, fold it to the center like this. That goes right to the corner. That. I'm just going to pinch on this one side, bring this corner to that pinch mark, fold across, unfold, rotate, bring this edge to the crease we just made, unfold, bring this edge to this crease, unfold, rotate, we're going to bring this edge to this crease up here. As you can see now, and unfold it. Now you see we divided our square into five equal parts. And now we're going to take this and fold it in half like this. Turn it so that the so that they're going up and down. And we're going to fold it in half like this. We have our white side facing up. All the, all the whole time we had the white side facing up, so we can have colored pants. Should it's folded in half? It's a little hard to do on video accurately. Okay, now we're going to make some diagonal folds, valley folds, in this middle section here. First we're going to fold a diagonal fold here, two diagonals here, and here. And they're only going to go from this end, this edge, to where this crease is here. So I'm going to take this edge here and fold it to the center here. Increasing only in the middle, so it only goes inside this one-fifth section. We'll do the same on this side. Bring this edge to the center. And again, only creasing inside this one-fifth area. And now we're going to turn this, and we're going to make a crease here, and a crease here. We're going to skip one and do go this way, and make a crease there and a crease there. So what we do there is I'm going to fold this so that this edge up here lines up with this section, this crease here. Oh wait, no it won't. There's actually no um, creases to line up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the crease right here, the center fifth, and it's going to go this way. So I'm just going to fold this down, and there's no real creases that you can line up, except this crease here can line up with that crease there. And then you're going to crease only in this area right here. So you're just creasing inside this fifth. Same here, we're going to fold it down, this crease is going to start right there, fold it down, and you're going to line up so that you'll have this one crease right here, and we'll line up with this crease here, and you're just going to crease in that one area, just like that. And the last one is going to go this way as well, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make it go like this. I'm going to fold this edge, this center crease to this fifth edge here, and only creasing in there. And then same here, this edge to this crease. And there we are. We have the creases done. Now we're going to, you can see where these little points here are. We're going to fold a crease, a valley fold, that's going to go all the way from the, connect this point to this point and this point. So I'm just going to start it here, I'll fold it, and then you can see what it looks like when we're finished. 
fold it down. It's not quite a third paper, but it's, you know, that folded in. And you can see how it connects these triangles. You can see how it connects this triangle and this crease and this crease all connect to this crease. So it's the same here. It's going to go all the way across here and end up there. So I'm just going to fold it here and then you can see when we're done. Crease it and you can see here is our crease all in there. goes right to there. Now we're going to take this edge here and fold it to here, but we're only going to pinch. And this time we're going to take this edge and fold it to the pinch mark, and this time we are going to crease it all the way through. And then unfold. Rotate, do the same. Bring this edge to this crease, pinch, unfold, bring this edge to that crease, crease all the way through. Make sure you do this one really well because we're going to be using this crease later on to lock it together. Unfold. Now, we're going to collapse the model. Now, this is sort of a tricky step. You can see this triangle right here. It's a problem when you put a diagonal crease. It sometimes messes up a bit. But we're going to hold this in like this and kind of hold it like this, the colored side up, and sort of squeeze together like this and bring this down, creating an edge. So... Wait a second. These ones here, we want to make into mountain folds that this connects to. When you have the white side up. Bring this down and you're going to push in like this. And push in. And it'll just collapse like this into this shape. And now right here we're going to just spread it out like we're opening up a book. And there should be an existing crease. It'll just open up like that. And now the next step. You're going to bring this side up here. And now comes probably the trickiest step for this of the model. Is we're going to lock it so you can see how this is a mountain fold. This here is going to fold in like this and tuck behind there. So I'm just going to open up that area and just tuck it behind that triangle there. Tuck that tab behind. And if you want, you can now take this area up top here and fold it in to hold that in place. So then it'll be easier to do the next side without it all coming apart. So just fold it in on the existing crease. And you've locked one side of your lid here. And now here we're going to do the same. We're going to bring this up. Open up this pocket behind. Fold this behind. Wrap it around that edge. And tuck it in. Like that. Actually, that one wasn't too hard. And then we can fold this top edge down around the existing creases. And we are complete for the lid. So our legs are gonna, and I've already folded one of them, now we're gonna make the legs. I already folded one of them because they're both the same and I'll just show you how it works. And you just take your leg and tuck it in here and it'll slide in. Now I'll show you how to fold that part, the legs. Okay, there's one leg there. Now this leg here, we're gonna take this, we're gonna fold it in the fifths one way again. So we're gonna fold it in half, we don't have to crease all the way through, diagonally. Bring this edge to here, it should go right to the corner there. The crease, but we're only going to pinch on this one end. Bring this crease, this uh, corner to there. Unfold, rotate. Bring this edge to the crease there. Unfold, bring this edge to the crease we just made. Unfold, rotate it. Bring this crease, this edge to this crease up top. Again, we divided it into fifths. And now we're going to take two of these fifths here and make little X's. So this one, we're going to use these two right here. So let's start with this one. So we're going to fold this raw edge so it comes to this crease. Not the first crease, but the next crease in. And we're going to make a diagonal. Only inside the fifth. And now we're going to fold this so this raw edge here goes to the outermost crease. 
again just folding the inside there. Same over here, we're going to start going this way. So this raw edge goes to this outermost crease. And only creasing inside the fifth. And now take this edge and bring it to this crease. This is the second crease in from the right side. And crease just inside the fifth. Now we're going to fold this up so that we connect the X's together with a horizontal crease. So see how we now basically fold it up one-fifth going this way so just like that we're gonna keep that folded though flip it over and fold it back like this so that the folded edge behind is aligned with the raw edge in front unfold fold back reverse that crease to a mountain and now we're gonna set this down we're gonna fold bring this up here and fold it to this crease here Make sure it's nice and even all the way across. So like that's sort of like a little concertina fold. And now we're going to take this, turn it over, fold this edge to this um, folded edge down here, but we're only going to pinch on the very edge here because now we're going to take this edge and fold it to that pinch mark we made. And um, now fold it all the way through. Now we're going to fold this just to reinforce the creases a little bit. Insert it into the inside there, into the other one. See how they um, go together. Just tuck them together. Just like that. And now we're going to close the end. We're almost finished. We're going to fold this down these two layers here, you want to make sure they go down at the same time. Fold down on the existing crease there. You can put your finger inside to support it if you want. And now we're just going to fold this out, flatten this, like that. Fold these down, crease them down nice and hard. And now we're going to you can see there's a slit here. We're going to open this pocket up and take this triangular flap we have here and insert it. I can put my finger inside to help keep things supported nicely from the inside. And there, you can see that one side's locked. Now the other side, put my finger inside. There's a little pocket. Tuck it inside. And then from the inside, just push everything down together nice. And that's it pretty much. There's our leg. So you make two of those and then you just take it like this. I'll take this one out. And to put it together, this is the lid. You're just going to take this. This part goes inside the leg here, this square section. You just go like this. Slide it in. You can put stuff inside here. There's the other compartment there. Two compartmented box, and we have folded our box. Now sometimes they're hard to close, so I want to be really precise, and I don't know if we're precise and precise enough. But there we go. And if it's like this, and if you want to make a little more like pants, you just gently pull them apart just a little bit to separate the legs a little bit. It's like that. It should already be like that when you're finished, but. There it is, your pants gift box. I hope you're able to do that. A really cute box. You can it has two compartments, so you can put things in either side. And it doesn't matter which side the the the, the um, which side is which for the boxes because these are both exactly identical. So it doesn't matter which side you use for which one. Um, it's a little tricky to close, that's the only thing I don't like about it. And maybe my paper is too thin, I don't know. Let me just tuck it back in there. So there we go, um, it's getting to be quite a long video here, so... And again, I'm Jonathan Graham, and I will see you next week, and I hope you enjoyed that. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm signing out.